Hey guys, we're here to show you how to hook up a hard start kit to a BEV air compressor. What I've got is I've got it torn apart right now for ease of installation. It's not going to be this easy out in the field, you're going to have to make it work. Um, in the back of every MTO unit, there's going to be what they call a power block. And if that power block's not there, it might have been uh, modified by another user. But the neutral is going to come back there and the hot from your thermostat. Okay, this is where the thermostat sends 115 volts to the compressor to turn it on. What we want to do is we want to follow the power cable from that terminal block. It'll usually be plugged in like this. We want to follow that over to the compressor. I already removed the start components, which is the relay, the start capacitor, and the overload. What I want to do now is I want to take this 120 and I want to tie it into um, my hard start kit, which is my 3-in-1, and the power wires to the condenser. Now before I put a three and one on this guy. I have to call the local refrigeration warehouse, give them the model and serial number of the compressor, ask them what the horsepower is. I then have to size the three and one kit appropriately to the compressor. This one is a quarter horse. I already got off the phone with one of the refrigeration suppliers and they told me this was a quarter horsepower compressor. You always have to do that in advance just in case they change. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the two lines for the incoming voltage. I'm going to tie it to my hot for my black. I'm also going to take one end of the condenser wire. I'm going to put them all on one wire nut. Make sure that wire nut stays. Then I'm going to take the neutral. I'm going to take a wire for the condensing fan. And then I'm going to take the other wire to the, to the hard start. I'm going to put them in the other wire nut. Since it's 115 volts, we know that 115 volts gets there by two wires. A neutral and a hot, which they sometimes refer to as L1. So, if you look at it, that's what I've got. That's my incoming voltage going to the unit. This voltage is what starts the compressor, and this compressor is started by the thermostat that closes and sends 115 volts there. Next, I'm going to take the three other wires. There's going to be three terminals on the back back here. They're going to be called CSR, your common, you start, your run. You read it from top to bottom, left to right like a book. There's one up top here that's going to be your C. The one to the left down bottom here is going to be your S, and the one to the right is going to be R. Well, if you look at every 3-in-1 hard start kit, it gives you a wiring diagram. It says that my common is going to get the black wire. My common is the one in the middle, so I'm just going to attach that right there. And then it says that my S is going to get the white winding. I'm going to take that S, I'm going to attach it to the compressor, and I'm going to push it up. And then it says that the R gets my red wire. I'm just going to take that on there, push it in, and we're good to go. Now I can plug the unit in and see if the hard start kit will get the compressor going. If it does, then we know that it was your start components that were bad. If you want, you can leave this on there, just make sure you tuck it in there safely. But I suggest getting the start components for the compressor, order them up, and the next time you're in the store, replace them. Speak to your FSM and see what the priority is going to be at getting these start components back, your FSM or your ASM. Well, no, you should be good to go. As soon as you plug it in, the shooting should start up. If it doesn't start up and it goes into lock rotor amps, your compressor is bad. You need a new compressor. So any more questions or any problems with this, please let us know. Thanks, guys.